Uh, Leo, let's go ahead and take a look. Um, sounds like you're getting a little frustrated here, and that's okay. I mean, this is something that, I mean, especially if you've never done this before, let's just step back, take our time, reassess things, rework it, and I promise you we'll get, we, I'll get, we'll get where we need to be. I promise you that. Um, and I agree. There, there's a couple of things that are missing. And, and well, you know what? Let's let's go ahead and take a look. I'll make some comments. I think they're going to make really good sense to you. So let's let's just go ahead and proceed in that in that vein. So here we go. Here's the banner ad. Now the main thing is this: is right now you've got. Um, let's start with the image. The background image is stretched. It's distorted, and we can clearly see that these are kind of squished. Um, the back, the chairs, and what that points to is that points to. Um, uh, readjusting the size of the image without holding the shift key down. Um, I'm going to take you over to the announcements because there's a couple of things I think that we need to take a look at. Uh, when I say that, um, I'm talking about resizing things. That is covered in the videos. So right now, sorry, this is loading up pretty slowly, but right now, let me see where, here's a milestone one. That's the magazine stroke text. This is still... Tax week four. Um, but, but, but right here, how to create your banner ad from your magazine ad. And this, I'm in, in week five. But all the way down here, how to create your, your this, this video right here shows you how to crop right from the background image. And you can crop directly at 1280 by 300 at 150 PPI, which means that when you place it in a Photoshop document, it's going to fit perfectly. You won't even have to resize it. So be sure to take a look at that. So the background image is skewed. It also looks like the logo may have been a little bit skewed as well. Let's go ahead and check that by opening up our handy dandy pdf and that's going to open in a second but while we're waiting um we'll take a look at that logo again that's the same thing as when you place something and you want to resize it you have to hold the shift key down when you grab the corner bounding box to resize otherwise it can move freely elastically both horizontally and vertically so what that does holding the shift key count the shift key down constrains the the original proportions and it it, it creates um, a scale a perfectly scaled um, copy of the resize. So now, as you can see, my computer is really acting pretty bizarrely, but it'll open eventually. Little guys chugging along and trying, trying, trying. Let's go ahead and take a look, and we're looking at the logo. Uh, actually, yeah, the logo does look like it's a little bit skewed. We can kind of tell by the real, the height to width relationship here. So be sure that if you, when you place that logo, you definitely want to um, keep that shift key down, held down. Okay, so now let's go to the text. Your dream vacation awaits, right? Then you get into this big, long paragraph. Now, in on web banners, you don't want a ton of... Um, you don't want a ton of, of, of text. You don't. I mean, you, you, there's only a little bit of real estate here. So hang on one second. I'm so sorry about this, man. My computer is just being horrible today. Anyway, so we are talking about the, the, the setup. So you've got your, your headline, right? Then over here, you got this big, long paragraph of body copy. And, and it, it may not seem that long by print standards, but by web standards, it's pretty long. You want to reduce that considerably. Basically, my recommendation would be this. Um, well, actually, let me finish up with the critique. We Also, we need that masked image from assignment 2-1. Remember, that is required. And then finally, I recommend including the uh, location. Um, you don't have to include the entire contact information, but viewers know they click the banner, it'll take them to the site where they can retrieve all pertinent information. However, you do want to let the, the viewer know that it, this is located in U.S. Virgin Islands. Okay, so if you take a look at the at example uh, announcement and the announcements, the examples, we can see that we've got this same setup. It works beautifully. Headline, subhead, and then somewhere just place your little, right there, book Amethyst Bay, all excess today. That's the call to action, and that's all it really takes. It's just a little synopsis of the call to action. This is a great banner, isn't it? We have headline, subhead. And then there's no body copy. There's, or, or, I shouldn't say there's no body copy. I should say there's no paragraph of informational text. It goes headline, subhead, and then right to the 
uh, promotional text animation. Now remember, the only text that's supposed to be animated is the promotional call to action. That's this call now for 20% for your entire stay. Okay, so what I would do is this. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I would do. I would do this, I would say, headline over here, left align, subhead. Then I would, right over here, maybe up here, you would say, or even below, just say animate your, um, uh, your your twenty percent maybe reduce the, size, the uh, text size of that keep it on one line and then we have to fit that masked image in here some somewhere so you really really want to think about that but so that is where we're at and I promise I promise that when you take care of these things this thing is going to be much 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 more harmonious now in the course announcement I asked students to submit their um, magazine ad along with the banner ad here so that we can take a look at both and, and, and comment on that adaptation. I don't see the banner ad here. I'm sorry, the magazine ad. So I, I can't really comment in that regard. Okay, so that's where we're at. And those are the changes I would like to see reflected in your final submission, which is coming up very quickly um, in week seven. So next week. So we got some work to do here. I'm not gonna lie to you. So get with me, all right? If we work together, we can do this, I promise you. Um, so, so try to make these changes and get this to me so I can take a look at it and comment on it uh, before we move into next week's final. Any questions at all, let me know. But this is where the rubber hits the road here, Elias. So we got we to gotta move on this, all right? And I'm here to help you, and let's do it, okay? Questions, comments, concerns, clarifications, any of the above, please let me know. Let's go ahead and make those changes. Resubmit um, to this form right here, and I'll be glad to make comments. If you need to get with me, email me or post questions in the uh, general questions area of the discussion board. Sound good? All right, fantastic. Thank you so much.